I'm Scott. This is the iRobot Roomba. <laughs> This thing, not a new invention by any stretch of the imagination, but if you don't know what it is, it's a vacuum that has sentience. This thing will vacuum your floor and you never even have to push a single stick. You can just sit on your couch, watch your reruns of Coach or whatever you're into and live your life. It'll vacuum all the live long day. As you can see, circular it does its thing it moves around it's, it doesn't get trapped on any corners because it just bounces right off them it's designed to bounce off corners there's a couple of buttons they do different miscellaneous tasks I never use them if I were gonna press this button this thing would just go off on its own and do its bidding which is sucking up trash this is the disgusting container where all the dust in the world goes and I mean the entire world. As you can see, the dust is right here. In this section, you got a filter. You can replace the filter. <laughs> oh God, I gotta be extremely careful. If I turn this thing on, which I just did, if this device was in, it would just go off and do on its own and do its own thing. Oh God. I feel like I'm a citizen of Pompeii. Get out of here with this. Oh, God. Right. So that's the only detachable part. As you can see where all these disgusting hairs are, this, all, all the, in these squishy areas, all the dust and dirt gets sucked up in there, and this thing pushes more of the dust. Right here, there's an infrared, it detects objects in front of it. So when it moves, it'll move in kind of like a pattern like this until it can find a clear path. It's a beautiful design, really. Elegant, classy, and refined. Like a bear or something. What's to stop this thing from not just rampaging through the neighborhood, blasting through your door and mowing down your neighbors? It comes with a couple of invisible fence-like parameters little beacons that you can put on the corners of whatever area you want to radius off and keep it imprisoned. The only downside, if there is a downside to something like this, this is a first world problem, this is insane that you have this technology, is it is pretty loud. You'll be sleeping in the middle of the night, it'll be 2, 3 a.m. at night, and all of a sudden you'll hear this thing running around your apartment, this invader, paranormal activity style, just moving around, banging into things, and it can be alarm. It can be alarming. If you have pets, or a significant other who doesn't like other things in, in the house at the middle of the night. You gotta keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is you never realize how many loose wires you have in your house dangling from here or there until you get this thing. We've come back from a couple of trips where the loose dangling wires will get sucked up in this thing and if there's like speakers or anything else like a TV, God forbid, hanging above, they'll get dragged down and suck to the floor because this thing, this thing stops for no one. No matter which way you slice it though, this is a first world creation. And if you have a chance to get one of these things, I say why the hell not? Who really wants to be pushing a vacuum around in this day and age anyways? In 1996, the technology of the Jetsons was supposed to be available to us. It's the year 2017. And for that, I say, if you have the opportunity to get one of these things, do it. Get off your couch, Go buy one so that you can sit on your couch and watch your rug get cleaned. I'm gonna go see what the people of Brooklyn are doing. Toodles.